Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives. Some will result in death. All right, here we are. The casting of Frank I've Stone. I sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Wow, what an intro. Welcome to the casting of Frank Stone from the world of Dead by Daylight. Here we are, guys. Hope you're all ready. Give me a second. Hey Kobe, welcome back and thank you so much for 10 stars. Appreciate that. How you doing? There he is. Welcome back. Good morning. Hey, Alma. Welcome back. So we have to play this part again. This was in the demo, but I have to do this again. It's fine. We know what to do, right? Sidar Steel Mill 1963. Hi, Dhananjay. Welcome back. Welcome again to the stream, guys. This is the fact that the casting of Frank Stone, brand new game from Supermassive. Hi, Subba. <laughs> Emma, amazing new game, yeah. I love the graphics. Tilanka, welcome. Thank you for turning that off. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. That's better. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin, my dog, Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Playing on highest difficulty? No, a survivor. The middle one. I need to ask a few questions. You and the dog are security for the mill. So I will choose the options that I selected in demo. So we don't have to worry about that. So you and the dog. Merlin. Merlin, you two are security for the whole mill? I know, I know, overkill. But between the two of us, we get the job done. Though, I don't know where he's got himself to tonight. Maybe I scared him off. Scared him off? <laughs> that, that is a good one. Thomas Jefferson Holtz is the name. 
Good Come evening, Whitney. Welcome back. How's Officer the night Sam going? Green. You ain't one of Kusich's deputies, are you? My captain has loaned me to Sheriff Kusich as additional manpower for the duration of this investigation. Oh, you mean the business with the missing boy? That's right. Uh, been drinking? So I did not choose this option, right? I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the demo. Notice anything suspicious around the mill? Tonight? Tonight? Last few nights? Anything at all? Oh, nothing. 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 Oh, heck, don't take my word for it. Ask the sheriff. Sheriff Kusich has been here? He saw by last night asking about the exact same thing. And I told him the same thing I'm telling you. There's no way that boy could be here, and Merlin and me not know about it. And what did the sheriff say? Okay, Tom. And he got back in his car and left. How goes huh. it? Yeah, we're just starting the casting of Frank Stone. The full game is here. I'm very excited. Uh, so nobody actually checked the mill. Let's go with that. So what you're telling me is nobody's actually checked the mill for any sign of the boy. When you say nobody, does that include Merlin? No, Tom, it does not. I'm talking human investigators only. In that case, Sam, I find it hard to argue with your assessment. <sighs> Any objections if I take a look around the place? No objections from me. Of course, everything's locked for the night. It's not a problem. There's Merlin, of course. Of course. If you see him, tell him I'm looking for him. All right, let's go. Look in the mill. We Thank all know what's going to happen, Tom. right? We all know Have what's going to gonna happen. I've heard the game has some performance issues. Let's see if we run into it. I love the demo. No problem there. Okay. I'm ready. All right, so far so good. Of course, everything's locked up for the night. Man, I'm already scared again. <laughs> okay. I'm playing now. Ooh, motion blur? Who turned that on? Activate plunderer's instinct and reveal the aura of collectible trinket? Oh! Collectible trinket right there. How do I get that? Interesting. Alright. I hate motion blur too. Yeah, I don't know why they put it in the game. No one likes motion blur. Even film grain, I, I don't like it. Ace, ED Descent King, ID Descent King, one of 12. Don't really care about the collectible, but if it helps in the game, then I might collect them. Huh? Okay, I just want to quickly go through the demo part Because I know what happens Chess piece, it's a, it's like a trinket So I have to collect 12 of them In order to get some trophy In my steam achievements, right? Yeah, I, I, I also am window. having I can performance get issues there. Okay, let's activate the sonar again Oh I can't activate it anymore guys. Maybe if I'm close to the trinket, then only I can activate the sonar thing. Uh, huh. uh, John huh. with 10 stars. Easy does it. Hi John and welcome to a brand new game. This is a very long name guys, so I'm not gonna say it every time. This is the casting of Frank Stone. 
We played through this part in the demo. I have to do this again. I was taking a nap and overslept. I was planning to start the stream early, but oh well. Sometimes you oversleep, it happens. I'll remove that soon. Let me see what's in here. Okay, I dropped something. Huh? Uh, what's that? You should pin it, pin it in the chat. You're, you're actually right, but it's in the tag, right? If you go in the game name on YouTube, it should be tag. It's fine. If someone asks, I'll do that. Move. Move that. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. And terrifying at the same time. Hello? Anyone here? Any trinkets? Police! Here? I want your trinkets. Give me your trinkets. Oh my god. Did that happen last time? Trinkets? No trinket? Hmm. This is pretty linear. Nothing to explore. Alright. We know what happens here. There's the dog eating all kind of weird things. Who's there? There's upstairs also. Was this area open before? Well, it's closed anyways. Train yard from 80s, yeah. Hi there, John. This is the casting of Frank Ugh, Stone. Smells like death. Oh, I can jump there, but let me check what's over here first. Can I aim my flashlight somehow? Hi, Vinod. Welcome. Boom. Okay, here we go. Don't jump scare me. Hey, uh, Mr. Green. Officer. Oh, yes, sir, of course. Uh, we haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. Oh. Ugh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Nothing good. Live on Twitch? No, Facebook actually. Apparently the game is having issues. Yeah, I'm also having some frame rate issues. Like, I have a good enough PC. So... It's running like 40 FPS, I don't know why. Oh my god. Merlin! There you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. <gasps> Come here, boy! Dang name it! Sure would have liked it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. Ugh. 
Did you put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Why does he touch it with his bare hands? Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? Ah, uh, there's no proof? There's no proof it does. But what if... Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Good from the Indonesian. Hi, Salamat Jalan. Or Salamat Pagi. I don't remember. Uh, anyways. I am on good afternoon. Oh, wait, what? So what happens if I put all of these in? Will I unlock a god mode or something? Bro, I need to find these trinkets. I need, <laughs> I need to find these trinkets. What was that sound? Stay behind me. I need to find these drink. Anyways. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. Good point. Let's get it. Let's open that grate and check inside. We all know what's inside, right, guys? Gotcha. Thank you. Some items can be kept and used later. Huh. Yeah, that's how it should work. What do you mean? Some items? Not all items? Hmm. Interesting. Stand back. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Hands on the controller. This game will surprise you. I said, hey, good morning. this use the radio in my car and call the station where, where are you going you, you really think that boy's down there i don't know but i got a feeling and it's not a good feeling hey i'm gonna need you to take this too make sure the sheriff gets this <laughs> Boy, I don't know. Uh, I need your help here. I need your help here, Tom. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. Please, you can do this. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. He said he was in trenches, right? Trenches means war, right? I can't do this. So why is he not strong? Hey. I'm counting on you, Tom Hope.
I don't know. You put your faith in Tom. Fate changed. Tom is this close to crying. Yeah, he was almost crying for some reason. That ladder is gonna break. Yeah, trenches mean sword. Yeah, so he should be strong. Maybe he's not doing that anymore. He got some trauma. All right, here we are. I know there's a trinket here. That's all I care about now. I want to get the trinkets. Okay. I know it's back here. There goes your hat. I'm not gonna check the hat. Might have PTSD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Trinket? Go, bro. Trinket! Huh? Oh, I can activate the sonar now. Oh, there. You see that? There's the trinket. I'll get it. I'm coming for your trinket. Yes. It's the horse. Wooden horse. I need 10 more. And then we're good to go. We can unlock God mode. You don't know about hygiene yet. <laughs> That's why I touched the ear with bare hands. Good point. Can I open this? No. Nope. Oh, something there. I saw something shining. Maybe not. Okay. So we're gonna go down here. A lot of rats. I don't think I'm gonna open that door. I checked it last time. Yes. No door handle. That door is not interactable. Bonus access. This has got to be it. Perfect. Look. Hi, Melody. Welcome. All is well, yeah. I hope you're doing good also. What is that? Nothing. That's nothing. Uh, this place turns my stomach. Oh. Huh. Drink it. Ugh. He touched everything. Things just get weirder and weirder down here. Relic, not relic, relic. This is the casting of Frank Stone. It's a brand new game released just today from uh, Supermassive. Uh, goddamn small spaces. It's like one of those games uh, in which you make bad decisions uh, and everyone dies at the end. Remember those? Just like Until Dawn. Oh, is that a trinket? My God. Why? What did you see in that and you're like, my God. Why that reaction? Am I missing something? Skill check. Okay. I got it. I'm checking skill. I'm not failing it twice. <laughs> He's touching everything, guys. Okay, climb. I'm doing everything the same. Until dawn and quarry. Yeah, it's same like that. My favorite is a house of ashes. Good lord. This is hellish. Tracido, welcome back. Performance issues, yeah, I know, I know. I just want to enjoy the game. It's fine if it doesn't run good. 
We can handle it. Ladder. We took the ladder last time also. Hi, Jared. Watching from work? No! So what happens if I... Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Focus, guys. I gotta focus. happened in the demo we are getting out of this john wick style Frank Stone has saved the child. Yes, I won, guys. As always. Oh! Sleep tight, motherfucker. Dead by Daylight players in the chat. I want to know the lore behind the casting of Frank Stone. Who is Frank Stone? I had never played Dead by Daylight. It's okay. So I don't know. It's okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> so now everything that we are seeing is new. Okay. This is where the game begins. The story unfolds. The fate gets decided. Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. Let's connect to the characters. At least try to. Mom. Madison? What's your problem, Madison? Huh? Ooh, it's one of those. 
it's one of those uh, the game runs fine here guys it was only the first part the game was not running good none of this is right what are you talking about okay. it's a loop de loop insidious vibe yeah exactly Maybe something's changing. I need to look around. Oh yeah, see, I told you. Nice computer though. Nice sneakers. Interesting. Oh. Oh wow. Look for trinket. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> no trinket here. It's like a psychological episode going on right now. Madison grunting. Hey Joshua, good morning. Behind you. Mom? Mom? What's wrong? Mom? Mom? You okay, I'm Mom? Here. Everything's all right. Back away. Am I up? <laughs> when in the house? Oh, okay, okay. Hey, Tony. Get a grip. I thought mom was scary until I saw the thing that took mom not her mom no more this is the intro Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. There's only on one the side. Left. The left side is the right side. It's single lane. I can't read that. Dearest Madison, your presence is required for Let me read that. Is that a hitchhiker? Stop. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're stopping. We're stopping. Wait, should I not stop? I don't know if what's the right decision here. Wrong move, right, guys? Wrong move. Uh, hi. No, 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 not mm. that much. So, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Wait a second. Okay. 
Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. No, 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 that's you up to me. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's I'm actually also going where there. I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? No, wait, yeah, hold on. I guess not. Wait a second. It's up to me. No, you don't get in the car. You choose to pick up the hitchhiker? Bro, if you're if you're letting me make a decision, let me make the next one also. You told me to stop the car. Not to pick up the hitchhiker. There's a difference. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um... Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. Huh? I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Don't give her ideas. Uh, sorry. What do you do for a living? What do you know about this manor? Uh, what do you know about this manor? That was close. So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. What do you know about it? <laughs> Hold on now. That's not fair. I asked you first. Good girl. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. You know something. Mm, I didn't say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda. Yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber. Who is that? And that that was supposed to be super fancy or something and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Okay. Hmm. Huh. What? She my invitation was pretty much the same. Hmm. Oh, uh, isn't this like a movie? Uh, what was the movie? Would you rather? No, there was another one. Something like that. Hey, uh, I'm take forgetting. a look. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. In the House of Darkness, Garant Manor, 2024. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. Watched any good horror movies, guys? I'm always on a hunt for horror movies. Did you watch the trailer for Smile 2, by the way? This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? Mm. I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. What happened? Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? Wrong move. Never do that. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. Nosferatu? How was no, it? No, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? 
No way is it. Do we just go in? No. Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> Long legs was then, great, yeah. Love that. Here we go. Apparently. I feel like Long Legs was such a success because of Nicolas Cage alone. Like his acting was surprising. Never seen him like me. that. Hello. Okay. Stop, stop that. Let's take a look around. So if um, Hello? We've arrived. If she doesn't stop shouting, I'm not going to care for this character at all. Trust me. Oh. Okay, I need 9 more. No, 10 more. I'll check this way. Linda? Linda, was it? Why don't you check the other way? Okay, you go check that way then. Doesn't open. Is this some kind of escape room theme game that where we have to solve puzzles and survive together or something like that? Oh, you're here now. Oh, did you find something? Linda? She's weird. I can open this before we do that. This seems a bit more lively. What if they're all in basement? <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Linda, you... She's a ghost, man. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna open this. So, not this way then. Locked from other side? Okay, this is the only door we can open right now. There we go. You see the cutscene. And... Sword drops. One of your head. No? Okay. Hey, who's that? Ah! Ladies! Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, Have I same. seen you somewhere? I am so sorry, where are my manners? My name is Stan, and you would be? Maddie. Maddie, beautiful name, short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah, middle name Lexington? What? Midtown. Oh my Big God. Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. I can already feel this character being so cringe. Oh, this place is creeped down, right? Been waiting here for a while? Um... Have you been waiting here a while? Well, more than a minute and less than a lifetime. Is that long? Well, it certainly felt that way until you arrived. Oh. The front door was unlocked, so I wandered around and made myself at home. Till I found a way to really make myself at home. Isn't it kind of weird there's no one here? I mean, we were invited, right? Ah, yes, well... One could write a book in all the incomprehensible complexities of British hospitality. Many have, in fact. Oh, Stan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge oh, fan of your work. Popular. I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your back end call, only to call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> uh, so what's going on right now? Uh, well, 
I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Bloodbenders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, no. Awkward. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I, I see. Would... I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait. Should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. Well, nothing illegal, obviously. Oh, obviously. Of course. The Epic of Gilgamesh. Let me read that. Oh, I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> A bit of like bedtime reading. This is not bedtime though. This is game time. A book attempting to illustrate to Norman how acts of violence could be heroic. What? It's a chessboard. Well, nothing else here. Let's move to the next room. Well, we can't. Huh. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Murder Interesting mill. choice. We murder know what happened mill. there. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? I have. Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. What? No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute, where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. There you enter. Okay, something's happening. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Where did he get a drink? Ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. What's that, a screw? I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. Mm, and twice that when I'm not. <laughs> 
Madison, would you also like a refreshment? No. Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. No. No, that's okay. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. I'm sure. You can confirm. <laughs> yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. You refuse Augustine's offer of a drink. That's a good decision. Trust me, guys. I'm not gonna die of dehydration here. I know it's a long here. journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but hey, I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hmm. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. What is it? Not quite. What's that? Why are they offering things? I... I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I don't understand what's going on, I have on, to guys. apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. So we were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key... So that was scripted? ...mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Really? His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. What happened if I don't pick Linda in the car? I would like to know the outcome. Pants? You don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. 
Oh! I'm sorry. No, no, no. no. My sister? Oh, God. Oh, all I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Take her. I'd rather die. Uh, uh, rather die. You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Ah! What is that? What are you doing? Is that his hand? Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way. <sighs> it was I feel definitely like maybe I oversold it a little. You gotta play to the cheap seats, I made. That's where the money Chris is. Chris is happy with your acting. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh oh wait. Oh, oh, let me check the gate. It's Linda. The young Can Linda. You check the gate on these little super eights? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. Look at Linda! craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Okay, so Chris was happy with my acting, but right now she's mad. But I don't know my relationship with Linda, so I'm gonna support Linda here. Of course, Chris, you're the director. But like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Linda's happy Let's with you. Let's just shoot yeah. both versions, and then we can see which way works better in see? the edit. Just like and real it'll life, be guys. my way, because I'm the director. Chris is annoyed. It's fine. Now hold still. Let me clean you off. We will win here on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. See, I told you we can. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. You guys though. want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds. Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. Do I have to do something? And action.
attention. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh! Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff. Sam! Hi, Sam. Right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. <laughs> Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, set one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. We're really sorry. If we don't get our... He's mad, man. Just say sorry. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh... Don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with the busted camera? Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. So Sam was officer, right? Sam does not appreciate your tone. The hell crawled up what? his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Of course not. Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. So Sam was officer, now he's sheriff. Was he sheriff before the officer or officer before the sheriff? This feels like before, right? Because he died or he did not. I don't think he did with the shoulder injury. After that, he became a sheriff, if I'm right. Yeah, this is after. All wrapped out, sir. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said. Because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. I like this very good, where this is going. They're going to come back at night, right? What happened to Tom? Oh, oh, okay, we're fine. What happened to Tom and Merlin? Oh, this is nice. Beautiful, actually. A curiosity on Main Street, Cedar Hills, 1980. Okay. Hi, me. Yeah. Dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So it'll just be me? So you'll be like, 
Our ambassador? <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a I good really... little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, um, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? What do you think he was up to? Oh, I don't think uh, she's gonna know about the victims, so I'm just gonna ask, what do you think he was up to? What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? There was never any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone somewhere's gotta have some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. Huh? Crystal ball, Ouija board, no. what will they say? And Miss BB's hotline, the dead are just a seance away. Okay, okay. <laughs> I called Miss BB once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? Oh, damn. Then again, Hi, Nicholas. maybe it's better not yeah, to playing on PC. dig up old bones. If it's ancient history, mm, people don't really like to talk about it. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. It really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. What were the reporters asking about? Sheriff Green seemed to care a lot about this. I know that. I'll ask about the reporters. What exactly were the reporters asking about? I don't know. They're reporters. They just want to dig up dirt. They had to have been on to something if they kept coming back. What? Well, just forget about it. Everybody around here has. Except Sheriff Green. Fine. If you guys aren't interested in filling me in, I'll find someone else who is. Okay. Good luck. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah. Drug the thing store? is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What? Who are you? Uh, um, Bonnie? You want a piece of me too? No. Howdy, pal. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say that. Howdy, partner. How's lap on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. More like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Uh, but mom's gonna get better. 
Yeah, but Ma's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. <sighs> right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. <laughs> it's true. Siblings? Yeah. And you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No. I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? 20? 10? Hmm. <laughs> How much should we ask, guys? 20 or 10? I don't think this is gonna matter just for jokes. I'll ask 20, you know, or money. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks? That ain't pocket change. This is my fault. I dropped the camera. But only because I was. Uh charged out by a cop wait what it's true when you make dangerous cinema you walk dangerous line this is not going to be a film for families this is a film you watch after midnight at the waverly on sixth how do you know about the waverly because that's where this film's gonna play but only if we find someone willing to take a risk on something dangerous fine i'm in but just because the last movie I saw in New York before coming home was a midnight at the Waverly. What was it? I had been not. If I know. Had some weird lady with big cheeks living in the walls or something. Huh. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right. It's a deal. Oh, nope. try not to waste it. Twenty. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. We got extra, guys. You all right there? You're looking a little uh wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. Oh. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go at any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? Why not? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Uh, curiosity shop. Sounds curious, right? Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? <laughs> yes, I get it. Lead the way. Are you done playing the one with planting tomatoes? Yeah, uh, that was only the demo, so we finished it. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Oh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not going to put the best ones in the window. I got to look inside. 
Ah, uh, too bad. So much for that. We can still out the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Oh, definitely she's not going to be doing anything inside. Nothing bad. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. I will. Trinkets. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Trinkets. In... No. Maybe so this is here also. This thing is everywhere. Where did I put all the... Hmm. How has this place become such a mess? Use sonar? I tried, I tried. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. Huh. The store recently passed into the hands of a new owner. Okay, thank you for telling me that because I'm not reading all that. Uh... Oh, cute bunny. Have I seen that somewhere? What is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Yeah. Some of these might be Easter eggs. Hi. Turn it on. Who would want to watch this creep fest? I'm waiting. I'll keep it on. Okay. Hold on, Linda. I'm just looking anything else here not this way oh thought it would come to life what are you doing Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. Uh -huh. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. We're gonna sneak in. Hmm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We will sneak in. We have to. All right. I think I can get in here. No. Nope. What about this one? I can't interact with it. Oh, I can. Locked as well. What is she doing in there? Nothing good, I suppose. Oh. Should I take that? What's up with the music? Ugh. Relic. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. The 
It's not doing anything. Oh. Oh, let's talk to Linda. I think I have explored enough. Hey, Linda. Uh, Linda. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. Why is it 20? But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? It says... 20 bucks. Two. No. It feels a little high, actually. We'll negotiate, guys. Hmm. Oh. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. How, how, how? Trinket? Give me trinket. What is One that? One kind. Handmade. It's for luck. Usually with these games, I'm actually going to take it. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> you haggled and received a pocket mirror. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. No, don't, don't grin. What was that expression? Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I, I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? All right. Look at this store. What's I that? could so find a place for these in murder milk. If... We had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Oh. Oh, sonar. So what happened? What happens if I save some cash? Will that give me some advantage buying firecracker? Our trinket is here, guys. Is that a mini game? Ah, uh, no, I don't. I'm not gonna play that. Hmm. What's that? Fear trap. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is gonna be the last record of the mill. Yeah. Interesting. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. There's a long lineage of lost movies resulting in dark myths and superstition. Right. Let me get the milk. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, we 
Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so... It's broad daylight. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. Missing. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. Come on down. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of I thing. I like Robert. Uh, super into it. This but... guy's good. Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Oh, his he dad is that Sam. Place like a hawk. Uh, okay. Yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot behind the you. Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. Why is he so depressed? You need to ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. So I think I got my favorite character, guys. It's Robert. I like this guy. He's hustling. Hardworking. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. They told me about Frank Stone. Oh, that's gonna be a little... You know. Yeah, let's talk about Frank Stone. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, Robert, I'm gonna see you, okay? I like that guy. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Yes, sir. Just say the word. Which word? Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. Oh! A new chance. Okay. Giving them the camera, I admit, was Shocking. unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? So that camera is cursed. I got it. That camera is cursed. 
back to 2024 guys how can you What? Bad dream? Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I I don't even remember falling asleep. Even though I did not drink 15, anything. 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait. What happened to Augustine again? She Ooh. left. Oh. Left. She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand. Oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before. Huh. It's not my film. I, I didn't. I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Curse film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So... All of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? Yeah. If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's going to have to pay up. How much? So why do you think she wants it so bad? Linda is the only I mean, survivor. It's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. Let's do that. Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> uh, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room. You know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Uh, tell me about Augustine. How do you know about Murder Mill? Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Yeah. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, but in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well... That's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but 
And the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it. I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh... What was he doing? Just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. So this is the future. So whatever I do in the past in which we are making the film is not going to matter because Linda survives, right? So if I get a chance to choose between Linda and someone, I'm going to choose the other person. Because I know that Linda family. will survive anyway. Oh, Am I right? It's Italian. Well, the shoes That's a Italian. smart move, right? Nye, this Annabelle. place would make an incredible film guy. location. He's got a guy so I just have to care about guy. the other so characters. These pants from Linda is good. Guy had him tailored Can this guy shut like up? Another guy I know who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. Are you done? Okay. So I'm gonna wrap it here, guys. We have gotten into the story and I'm liking it. This is different. From someone who have played all the super massive games, Little Hope, uh, Man of Medan, House of Ashes, Quarry, everything. This is very different. They have put more storytelling and narrating here than the other games before. Other games were more like you have jump scares, you have those scary moments, suspenseful moments, quick time events, you know. Here, not really. Here we have a proper story going on. And I really like to know what happens next in the next episode.